you a light being. Are you an ascended master or light being? If you open your heart and clear your mind, you should be able to intuitively tell if you are an ascended master or a light being. As the name implies, an ascended master is someone who has been raised from the earth plane, usually by some force of good. They are often marked by special abilities that they can use to help those around them who are still on earth. Ascension is a process that can happen to any person at any point in their life if they have learned all of their earthly lessons, but it doesn't necessarily mean that a person has become an ascended master. Depending on how far they have risen through their vibration, they could also be one of many other types of beings, such as spirit guides or angels. Light beings are another type of being with many different levels associated with them. The most basic form is known as starseed, which refers to anyone whose soul originated in outer space and was sent down to Earth for specific purposes. It isn't until these souls rise up through their spiritual development that they may become known as light beings in this lifetime. Note, just because you are a light being in one lifetime does not mean that you will automatically be one again in future lifetimes. This process revolves around working through karma from previous lifetimes so that only pure love remains and connects you back to the source energy. Once this happens, the light body can fully activate and will continue rising higher and higher on its path toward ascension until it reaches the next level. Among other things, this is where we see raising one's vibration becoming very important in helping us reach our goals and destinations. It's okay to share your light. If you're an ascended master or light being, it's natural to have gifts and talents that come from your divine source. You might think that these special abilities are only for you to enjoy, but the truth is that sharing them with others can be very fulfilling for both of you. When we're able to share our own unique light with someone else, we actually expand our sense of self as well as theirs. There are many ways you can share your light, whether it's through personal communication or sharing thoughts on social media. One way I love to share my light is by sending positive energy out into the world on social media. This has been such a fun way for me to write because it takes only a few hours of my time and people who resonate with what I'm saying will naturally gravitate towards those posts, if not right away, then sometime in the future when they need my those words most. Plus, there's always someone else who needs some kindness spread their way too, so why not do both? It makes me feel good knowing that there could possibly be someone reading my content who needs some positive vibes sent their way. And if they don't resonate yet, they will soon enough. Let your light shine brightly. What a strange thing. We all have our own special gift to contribute, and we often forget that what we give in life is not just for ourselves, but for others as well. As an ascended master or light being, it's important that you keep your light shining brightly. In order to do so, you need to make sure that the gifts that you hold and use are not being dimmed by those around you. You will find the following tips helpful. Be aware of the ill intentions of others around you. If someone has a negative intention toward you, it could mean that they are afraid of your ability or influence to bring light into the world. Perhaps they don't want more people to know about them or realize their greatness. Perhaps they don't want more people helping them in life or having fun. Perhaps they don't want people in their lives who are afraid of them. Perhaps they think they are better than others and want everyone else to know or believe this. The bottom line is that if someone has ill intent towards you, it could be because of your light shining too brightly, which at some level terrifies them. Don't let others dim your light by telling lies about how great you are. If anyone ever makes fun of you, or tries to ridicule you about how great and wonderful an ascended master or light being is supposed to be, then there's a good chance it's because they're jealous of what kind of light shines from such a person. Ask them this, whom does it serve to talk down on me and or ridicule my beliefs? It's okay to be compassionate towards yourself. As empaths, lightworkers, and healers, we are naturally compassionate towards others. 
We often forget to show the same compassion to ourselves though. Being self-compassionate is a gift that we can give ourselves every day. When you are feeling down or upset with yourself, remember that you have compassion for others who are in the same situation as you may well be in at the moment. You also are one of them. Showing compassion to yourself is a sign of strength and shows your wisdom. It is also the right step towards misidentifying and detaching a bit further from your ego mind. Don't take anything personal. Using your gifts wisely is one way to make sure that you are making the most of your talents. You have a moral obligation to share your wonderful, beautiful, and magnificent light with the world. By expressing your talents, and be it only via social media through an incognito account, you're making a higher frequency accessible for others to enter and find some magic on their own. You came here as a master. You got this. We love you dearly. We are here with you. We are your family of light. Aho. This is a message to humanity from Aurora Ray, ambassador of the Galactic Federation.